Uh, Coach Feldman, uh, how excited are you to begin uh, the 20th preseason with the program? Well, I'm always excited. This time of year, it is uh, the start of a new journey. Um, and even though it's been 20 years, this year is as special as the first year uh, because it's, uh, it's, a, it's a, an opportunity. And um, we got new players, we got a new team, uh, new leaders, new freshmen. And, uh, and so it's going to be a new experience. Uh, and that's what I love about coaching collegiate soccer is that you get, you get to put the, push the redo button every year and, um, and you, uh, it's, it's a clean slate. And, um, and, and that's exciting. I, I, I love this time of year. I look forward to it. Uh, from the time uh, we let the gals go in the spring, um, all through the summer, this is the moment we, we look forward to. And then uh, you mentioned that this is a new team, but in the two of the last three years, you made it to the second round of the NCAAs. How do you keep that momentum going with this year's team? Well, you know, we're at the we're at the beginning. We we, we have goals. Uh, we always want to be the best team we can be. We want we want to uh, you know, be in a position to win conference championship. We want to be in a position to get into the NCAA tournament. That's what we always are going to be playing for. At this point in preseason, uh, those goals are far away, um, and really it's about doing the work and going through the grind to uh, build the foundation and to layer on uh, all the things you need to layer on, um, from team cohesion to imprinting our style of play to um, sorting out our personnel, um, building our fitness, uh, building our mentality. So um, those far away goals are, are there every year. Um, and it doesn't change from one year to the next. To the next, I think they're realistic every year. I think we've got uh, a great group of gals uh, that came in this year. Uh, we are, uh, we did lose a lot. We are a little on the younger side, but um, until we get into the middle, toward the end of the season, uh, we're not going to readjust those goals because at this point, I think I think they're reasonable. And uh, you've been with the program since the beginning, and this is the 20th season. What makes BU uh, so special for you personally? Well, this is my hometown. Um, I'm a Boston girl. Well, need them, but uh, close enough. Uh, Boston sports have always been a big part of um, my life, uh, my family's life, and um, and I feel as though uh, yeah, this is this is home. Uh, I have the right accent, that's for sure. Uh, and I love Boston University. It has uh, been the right place for me. I think it's the right place for the players we recruit. Uh, the balance of academics uh, and, and athletics. Uh, support that we get, that I get from the administration, that our program gets from the administration and the athletic department is phenomenal. And we're in an environment where excellence is, uh, you're able to achieve excellence if you work hard enough. There aren't, a, there aren't barriers in the way within our own organization. Um, and I just really love the kind of student athlete that's attracted to BU. They, they're interested in what the city has to offer. They want a great academic challenge and uh, the prestige of, of the uh, of the degree and the study that they get to do here at BU. And they know that they can have a great athletic experience. They don't have to uh, sacrifice that. So uh, 20 years, it's hard to believe. Uh, I remember the first day uh, we walked out to practice in 1995. I remember we did a, a, a timed uh, mile. To, I think it was a mile. It might have been a three mile. The alumni will remind me. But I remember Kristen Dutchka. She was one, one of our very first recruits. and. I remember all the gals through the year, Deidre Ennis and Megan Cross and Emily Pilata and all of them. And you know, it's funny because now what's happening is I can't remember who played with who. So that's really the only problem right now is that there's now so many years that um, there are probably, I guess you could say there are multiple years now. But it's as, it's as new and fresh as it was uh, in 1995 for me. It certainly is for the kids. It's their first or second or third or final experience. And, um, and we, uh, we're really looking forward to uh, having a great season. And uh, finally, uh, obviously you've had a lot of great players, All-Americans and academic All-Americans. Do you have an idea yet of who you expect to, to step up for the team this year? Well, you always hope your core players are going to be your older players. Uh, if we're going to be successful, whether they're our superstars or our All-Americans or All-Conference, they'll, they'll, they'll need to rise up and be our core players. You know, uh, from uh, Kai Miller, who's had a lot of experience playing in the back, and Mackenzie Hollenbaugh, who's only a junior but has really had a lot of experience um, on the field on game day, Jamie Turchie, uh, Taylor Krebs, Annika uh, Kufia. So we've got a core group that have had a lot of playing experience that 
need to really be the, the stabilizing forces. Um, whether, you know, at this point it's too early to say who's going to stand out as our uh, superstar. I, I like to think of us, in particular this year, I think we're a very deep team, and I think the, the, the difference between our top player and our uh, 27th player is smaller than it's been in a lot of years, and I and, and I think that's going to be a strength of ours. So we'll see who emerges as um, star performers, but uh, my hope is that our leaders and our experienced players become our core, and um, because that usually means that we have a pretty good season. Uh, one, actually, following up on that, you, you mentioned the depth. Do you attribute that uh, to the recent success the program's had getting to the NSA tournament a lot uh, recently? Yeah, we're, I, I think BU uh, is an attractive school, both because of the academics I mentioned earlier and the social experience that uh, gals can, can get if they choose BU in the city of Boston. But I also think it's because of our athletic success that we've had. I think we're a program that um, that recruits look at as uh, as having a chance to, to get to the College Cup and uh, being in the rankings and all that. So that certainly doesn't hurt. Uh, we love to have a, a, a big team um, and we like to develop our own players. And so um, I think that also word gets out about that, that we really are about the entire squad, not just about the top 13 or 14 players. And, and for that reason, I think um, it, we, the environment is such that everyone's given an opportunity. and. I think that, I, personally, for my, my philosophy is I think that makes for a stronger team. And, um, yeah, we, we're, we're hopefully going to count on some of these freshmen to come in. And uh, we, really, it's kind of unknown. We just got through our first practice. Uh, but a few of them look like uh, they might have the potential to help us right away, and, and we'll need that, too. All right. Thanks, Coach. Thanks very much.